So, I've come to Talakra today. Um, I've been here quite a few times before with the camera, but I've never recorded it. By far, what this place is most famous for is the lighthouse, which you should be able to see behind me there. And got all these lovely big sand dunes covered in marram grass. So, yeah, let's go have a little wander around and really see if I can capture anything a bit different to what everyone else gets here and different to what I've had the last few times as well. So, let's go. Back to your dark mention it's a popular spot for photographers I've got some competition <laughs> so I think it is looking a little bit crowded over there so what I'm going to start off doing is getting my telephoto lens out and try and take a shot through the marron grasses on the dunes so by doing that I'll be really trying to compress the landscape so we see how it goes. Let's get the camera out. camera bag today. Um, it's actually an old camera bag but it's new to me. I just got it last night. Uh, I paid a tenner for it off a fellow in my local camera club and I'm dead happy <laughs> with it so far as well. If you can see it, it's the Low Pro Mini Trekker AW. I think it's quite a few years old but I really like the fact that you can open it out completely. I can see everything that you've got in your kit, which I think is really handy. It's also really lightweight, and considering how many years this other fellow has been using it, it's in pretty good nick. It seems really durable piece of kit, so. I'm sure it'll do me proud as well. This looks ace, I've got to say. It's a really nice pool in front of the lighthouse. You can see the reflection in it there of the lighthouse in the puddle. Yeah, there's very good reason that a lot of photographers like coming here. So, right, I've got to get a shot of this now. I might use ND filter to smooth out the ripples on the surface of the water, but I might not need it. So, we'll give it a go. Take a couple of 
couple of test shots and looking pretty cool for the reflection of the lighthouse. Um, but I think I'm going to try out the six stop filter. It's the only ND filter I've got. Um, just to try and smooth out the ripples on the water, give it a smoother look to it. Um, I'm not going to use the polarizer, I'm going to take that off because obviously I want to see the reflection. Yeah, what the polarizer would do is just cut straight through the reflection, so you'd just be looking at the sand ripples below the surface. So I'm getting the filters out and give that a go. Cannot forget viewfinder cap. Sorted. Now then, at F9, this six stop filter has now taken my exposure from one two hundredth of a second to one fifth of a second. So I'll give that a go. I've already focused using autofocus and then I knock it into manual. It's a two second timer. Let's see how this is looking. does look a bit smoother than at 1 200th what I'm going to try and do is really push it out and try F16 so that's going to be 1.6 of a second That was audibly louder. See the difference. So it turns out, as I'll show you on the screen now, the longer exposure and the movement on the water is almost eradicated the reflection <laughs> completely. You can't see it. Right, so I think I've got my shot here already. I'm gonna have a little wander around the base of the lighthouse, see if there's anything interesting there to shoot. Good news, all the other photographers, I counted four before, they've all disappeared. So I've got the lighthouse to myself now. Uh, I found a pretty nice little shell in the sand. Um, it's a little bit broken up, but it's the one thing of interest really, except for the ripples in the sand themselves. So I've got the wide angle lens out. I'm gonna probably go into portrait and try and get pretty close to the shell with the lighthouse stood up in the background so let's see how this goes okay so what I've actually tried here is a focus stack so I've chosen three points one was on the shell that's my nearest focal point and then in between the shell and the lighthouse we've got a little grouping of ripples and sand so that's my mid focus point and then obviously the lighthouse itself is my furthest most focal point so I can blend those together as layers in Photoshop um, if you were trying to do it as a HDR the clouds are moving pretty quickly so that could have played a bit of havoc <laughs> with your HDR image but when I'm in Photoshop, I'll literally paint in which parts of which layers I want to use. So I can use the sky from just one of the images, which should turn out pretty well. 
Now, this isn't something I do very often. I've only really done it once before on the summit of Molvamai. But I'm going to try and do, I think it's known as the hero shot. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to stick a 10 second timer on my DSLR rather than two second. I'm going to dash in and either sit or stand on the rocks leading up to the lighthouse and I think I might well bracket this one so that I can get the exposure right between the sky and the sand so let's go we go did there we'll see if it works if it does I'll put it up on the screen in a second I did two sets of bracketed shots each with a 20 second timer which gave me time to find exactly the same spot standing exactly the same way which are also focus stacked so the first set of bracket shots I focused on the lighthouse and the second set I focused on the shell so with any luck I stood in exactly the same place <laughs> for all six shots and my fairly limited editing skills should have come up with a result so let's see it Yeah, I've got a few pretty nice shots, I think. Especially now the light has just started to really pop. Coming in from this side, looking at the lighthouse. So I've just had a quick little run around, take some wide angle shots close up at the base of the lighthouse. I'm sure they'll come out pretty cool as well. So I think there's a lot of cloud and it looks like rain as well so I'm going to get going uh, thank you very much for watching this episode um, hit subscribe if you like what you see give it a like, leave a comment I love talking to people about my work um, yeah I'll see you next time yeah.